Okay, the next conventional wisdom is that high throughput requires strong computational uh, abilities. And also here the conventional wisdom is wrong because those that can be implemented very efficiently. In fact, all of the performance I told you about in the testnet with the high TPS and high block rate and everything, nodes are running this, uh, this uh, uh, network efficiently on computers that cost as much as $100. You don't need the uh, extremely expensive validators like you need in a proof of stake. Um, the next wrong conventional wisdom is that if you have high throughput, then you're going to need a lot of storage. This is also wrong. Um, because we use proof of work and not proof of stake, this gives us the ability to use the unique um, solutions for pruning data, for removing all the data securely. And we use a protocol invented by Michael Sutton and myself for pruning data securely and the mining with logarithmic space adapted to that to prune the header securely. And recently we had a breakthrough which actually applies to all of crypto and not just to UTXO and not just to Casper that allows us to significantly and easily um, counter a state bloat without resorting to stuff like accumulators and uh, statelessness or uh, demorage or that kind of stuff, just this kind of magic formula that allows us to um, limit how much the state can bloat. And if you want to read more about it, you should look up for the Casper Improvement Proposal 9. It was purchased about two weeks ago, and uh, I think it's a real game changer. Um, okay, reactiveness is essentially how long you have to wait since you push the button and until the network agrees on whatever you did. And the conventional wisdom says that in proof of work, you don't have good reaction time, but proof of work, the networks are slow to react. Conventional wisdom is wrong. Uh, the ghost that protocol provides instant confirmation. Now, when I say instant, I mean as fast as the internet, because you can never be faster than that. But it's a proof of work where the limit on how fast you can confirm transaction is completely dominated by the network conditions and not by the security of the protocol. So essentially, it's as fast as proof of stake. And one application for this is that you could do rapid settlements. If you do side chains, you can settle them on the main chain, and you can do this as fast as you can do it on proof of stake, even though it is proof of work. So you don't lose speed. Uh, the conventional wisdom says that proof of work is very, very energy intensive. And here again, the conventional wisdom is wrong. Um, because there are ways, by essentially by using a very, very ASIC friendly mining algorithm, we are able to make almost all of the expenditure a capital expense and reduce the uh, amount of, uh, of operational expense, essentially the amount of electricity you need to build for mining. And there are also future plans for using optical mining, which should make it even more capex heavy. And um, now the chip is really straightforward. If you have a lot of transaction, then you would pay less for each transaction separately. This is really uh, the most straightforward one. And um, now about validator compensation or the so-called fee market problem or the security budget problem. And again, we have this uh, conventional wisdom which says that in proof of work, the fee market doesn't kick in, doesn't start to work before the network is fully congested. And again, the conventional uh, wisdom is wrong. And this is a consequence of parallelism. Now, I'm not going to go into the map here, but essentially the fact that many blocks are created in parallel means that the uh, fee market becomes active way, way before the network is at full capacity. And not only that, it avoids this weird bidding war dynamic you have in, in say, in Bitcoin, where if you are one Satoshi below, then you are def out, definitely out with probability one, and then you increase by one Satoshi, you are definitely in. And no, the parallelism smooths things out in a way that uh, means that the amount of fee you pay reflects much better the quality of service you expect to get. 
Um, okay, so now I um, think the coolest aspect is the adaptiveness. So um, this uh, conventional wisdom is so conventional that people don't, a lot of people don't even think to go around it and there are actually impossibility results that in some models say that it's impossible to be reactive to network conditions. In all protocols that exist today, when you um, create the network, when you launch the network, you, need, you have some parameter, which is called the network delay, or a bound on the network delay, and you're saying stuff like, okay, maybe my network um, has a delay time of one second, but I'm gonna set it to 10 seconds because I need a margin of error, and you will always need to have this margin of error, and you could never adapt. The only way to adapt is to do a hard fork and reparameterize the protocol. Um, and it seems that the conventional wisdom is wrong here as well. And there is this brilliant new protocol, not yet implemented, called Ghost, uh, Dead Knight, invented by Michael Sutton and Jonathan Sampolinsky. And Dead Knight has this incredible property that it is um, adaptive. It does not require a bound on latency. And this has far-reaching consequences. First is that you don't need a margin of error. You can always operate as fast as the network allows. And if the network improves, the protocol will automatically become faster in its confirmation times to uh, accommodate the better network conditions. And if there is some sort of calamity that makes the network conditions deteriorate, then the protocol will automatically slow itself down to remain secure. And this will allow us to be get better speed and better security and essentially the best speed possible. If right now the best speed possible is by taking a bound on the network latency, which is almost always true but needs a margin of error, that night will allow you to remove this bound completely and work and be as fast as the network actually is, not as the best bound you can feel comfortable with. Now, we conjecture that this kind of uh, property is impossible in proof of state, and only proof of work uh, is able to get it. And by consequence, this means that Dark Knight will always perform better than any proof of state protocol you can ever come up with. And that's about it. I hope I convinced you that Caspar has something unique to offer. And please come visit our booth. Thanks for having me. Thank you very much, Kai, for giving us an introduction of CASPA. I believe everyone here now has a better idea of how CASPA performs. And now we are going to have a short break and more sharing is coming soon. See you guys later. All right, um, cool. So can you guys hear me in the, in the chat right now? Let me know if you guys can hear me. I don't know why my camera's doing that. Let me know in the chat if you guys can hear me. I'm just going to wait for confirmation here if you guys can hear me. Yes. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, you guys can hear me. Awesome. All right, cool. Yeah, so that was basically uh, Shy talking for ASPA in Hong Kong. So I think it was pretty decent. I'm going to rewatch the entire thing tomorrow. Um, I, I caught the tail end of it right there, but um, yeah, I'm going to share my tab right here and we'll just do like a quick little cast of stream only. I got my connect on, so obviously we got to do that. Um, and yeah, like just, you know, if you have any other gems, we'll, just, we'll look at some other gems too right now. Um, okay, so I'm just going to, you know, share this screen right here. Um, all right, cool. So Cass is looking pretty good right now. We've got Cass coming in at 14 cents. I really do think, guys, this is the last time to accumulate Cass before it starts getting very, very expensive. Okay, so it's going to go rocket ship up to 25 cents in my case. So definitely not financial advice, but if you haven't already gone and checked Casper out or have any in your portfolio, I think that this is the, the cryptocurrency that you need to take a serious look at. And I'm not just saying that because Casper is the biggest thing in my portfolio, right? I'm not just saying that. It's the biggest thing in my portfolio because I've done my own research on this point. Okay? It's the 
only one that has the potential to solve the blockchain problem. Okay? Security, decentralization, scalability. It's the only one out there. So yeah. We are uh, just going to do a quick little uh, live stream right here. So let me know if you guys can hear me. Yeah, I'm gonna go just change up my audio right now because Okay, how does my audio sound now? Is it sound a little bit better than before? Testing, testing, testing. Okay, is it better? Okay, cool, cool. Okay, we got it. All right, so uh, yeah, Cass is coming in at 14.2 right now, looking pretty good. This is a late night stream. I've never done a stream this late at night, but we're gonna check it out. So the X page is coming in at 202,000 followers on X, looking very good, following 159 people. Obviously the Caspa ecosystem foundation is extremely bullish. Like this is gonna help with so much good stuff along the way, okay? So if you don't know what this is yet, this is really gonna help CASPA with smart contracts, you know, giving grants to different uh, projects down the line, you know, startup incubation, developer support, merchant integration, all this is gonna be KEF, which is super, super bullish, okay? So again, definitely go do your own due diligence on this, but I think that this coin is so freaking undervalued right now, guys, it's just, it makes no sense how we're sitting at 14, but it looks good though, because it bounced off of a 12.2 just a few days ago, and now we're back at 14.15. So let me know, when do you guys think the tier one exchange is going to list Casper? Is it gonna be OKX, Binance, Kraken, Crypto.com, Coinbase? Which one is gonna list Casper first? Uh, I'll do a poll up in the chat just for fun, just to see what you guys think. We'll do a little poll here. So, um, but yeah, let me know in the chat what what uh, tier one's gonna list Casper first and when it's gonna happen for sure. So, okay, I'm gonna put that poll up right now. Obviously, smash the like on the stream right now. Coming at you late at night. Uh, we're gonna do a late night stream. Okay, so we're gonna do a poll right now. next month next two to three months yeah all right perfect uh all right so back on stream yards right now cool um all right cool so yeah we have 60 people on x watching at 60 people on youtube watching nice all right yeah, let me know in the chat uh, when you guys think a tier one is going to list cast. We'll just do a quick little stream here. Where did you scoop that Casper shirt? I have a merch store down in the description below on YouTube. That's where you can go get a Casper crew neck. Yeah, this is just a hangout. I'm just, just hanging out. You know, I'm going to delete this stream later. Just uh, chilling. Coinbase will be the last. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, Coinbase looks like it it, it will be the last one. Uh, Ashton said, I hope Kraken, but I think crypto.com is more likely. I bet the first listing happens between June and August. Nice. So let's go in the live time chat uh, chart for, for cast right here. Trading view. Nice. I, I would say this, guys. It, it's, it's very possible that, you know, we could see a little bit of a you know, come back down a little bit more, a little bit more, and then maybe one more, and then boom, you have like a really, really big skyrocket right here. So that's that's what I think is gonna happen. I'm pretty sure it's gonna play out like this. I think there's gonna be one more leg down, like a small leg down, and then we're gonna be off to new all-time highs here. Like even maybe up here, like 25 cents, 30 cents. I cannot wait. You guys better get excited for this. This is when Casper could really start even going to a lot higher than that in this bull run. It's 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 gonna be very, very exciting. 
tier one listing in May. That would send us. That would send us big time if that happens. Coinbase will be the last. Uh, Umatic. I think T1's listings uh, will start listing cash, but when it's fully on Rust, it won't take too long. We are about 5 to 6% already, I think. Nice. Yeah, it's possible. They're waiting for the, the programming language update from Go Along to Rust. It, it is. Dan said 60 to 90 days for this tier one, in my opinion, uh, especially after this imminent leg up. Show them the Caspolytics hash rate chart and what happens to price after it crosses hash rate. Yeah, man, we could definitely go get some. Hash rate's coming in at 209 beta hash right now. You got 81% that's mined. What other coin out there do you know of that has 87, 81% already circulating and it hasn't even been four years yet? Like this is the only coin that can do this. Next reduction's in 28 days, beautiful. Um, and yeah, the current supply is at $23 billion, nice. And then we have how many cast next rewards, 110 casts. How many people are in each category? Um, let me know in the chat as well what category you're in with the emoji. Um, we have Caspa dolphins coming in at 16,500. Wow, there's a lot more dolphins than before. There used to only be like 12,000 dolphins a couple months ago. Now it's 16K. That's insane. 52,000 fish, 79,000 octopus, 60,000 crab, 2,800 shark. I'm one of them. Uh, whales, 224. Humpbacks, 14. Nice. Looking very, very good. Uh, absolutely. Archetype running Saturday Night Live, maybe. Yes, yes, absolutely. I love you, bro. Yeah, absolutely. And let's go check out some other ones too. Uh, we have obviously some other good plays that are pumping right now. We got Aerodrome and Velodrome. Aero is super cheap, but it's starting to go up. Starting to go up. You're not going to get these prices for too much longer, guys and gals. This is going to only be here for maybe a couple more weeks until Arrow goes to $2, in my opinion. This is about to really rocket shit up. Uh, rocket ship up, sorry. <laughs> I swear. Um, okay, and then you have Velodrome right now. Velodrome's looking pretty good. So 2475. I made that video today. I think that this is really a trend reversal happening with Velodrome. Last chance. Last chance to get Velodrome pretty cheap here. Yeah, you can you can tell just by eyeballing it, the eye test. This is this is support that's forming right now. So the last couple of weeks, so it's going to uh, be ready for its next leg up anytime now. Uh, you might see a little bit longer with Velo, but not not much, not much longer. But look at the log chart, okay? With Cass, it's just a beautiful just rainbow up into the right right there. So. Very, very simple. When in doubt, zoom out, put the log chart on, go all, and then you're going to see, oh, every single few months, it's just higher and higher and higher. So it's a long-term savings account, all right? Uh, oh, yeah, okay, okay. I'll go get that uh, that link right here. Let me go get that link. Let me go get this link. Awesome. Caspolytics. Mining Caspa right now is a extremely good passive income, by the way. Definitely go check out the miners. Uh, maybe go get one. As you guys can see, as the hash rate keeps going up, the price also correlates towards the upside. So very, very bullish stuff right here, okay? And currently, it's above 200. So we're constantly breaking records with the hash rate, constantly. So it's just going to keep going up and up and up. And I, I'm thinking that the price is going to keep going up as well. So again, the longer every single day that goes by, the more cash is mined, the less there is to be mined in the future. So super, super bullish on this. Active addresses. Let's go check out this. I love this website. Um, active addresses. I would say, which is the white one? The, the white one... I want to check out um, number of unique addresses. I believe that's the the white bar up here. Yeah. Oh wait, no, that's the price. That's the price. So yeah, the unique addresses are 
going down. Yeah, so boom, addresses 102,000. That was the highest one on December 16th. Now we have active addresses for the day of 6,000. So, okay. I feel like it's just going to keep going lower because when people get Casper, they understand, oh, this is not something that I trade. This is something that I hold for a long term, right? So not something that you want to be messing around with. Definitely, I would recommend day trading other coins. Caspa is, you know, this is a long-term savings account here. So number of unique active addresses right here, all going downhill. It's all down on today because that's the, the beginning of the day. But it should go back up, obviously. Yeah, here's the distribution of the supply. Nice. Wow, there's $600 million of Caspa just tied up with the whales, with the humpbacks. That's a lot. But the biggest one is obviously the sharks. The sharks have the most money out of all of them. You have $948 million of, uh, of cash. But sorry, it's late. It, it is late at night. Nice. Hoddle waves. So the amount of people, obviously, that are holding CASPA, right, that haven't sold CASPA. So we're seeing a lot of a lot of these darker ones are from two years ago, one year ago, six months to a year ago, and they're pretty thick lines right here. So you're seeing a lot more people, and you're seeing this is the big thing too, right? Is these 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 smaller ones people like they're not as big because people understand like okay no this is a long term investment so they start moving up levels every single time so very bullish right here. Yeah, looking uh, looking good, guys. I'm I'm really really excited for what Casp is going to do over the next couple weeks. Obviously, I bought like a hundred more K Casp pretty recently, like ten days ago. So very very happy uh, to be owning even more. Um, but yeah, definitely, I think it's going to play out like this, just the exact same thing. But again, you never know though. This could be the start of the leg up already, right? It could easily go like like this. Okay. Definitely could go like that as well. So you never know. You don't want to, you don't want to play it too, um, too bearish either, you know, like just accumulate. You're not going to care once Caspa is at two to $3, you're really not going to care whatsoever. Um, if you're buying it at 14 cents or if you're buying it at, you know, uh, I would say 18 cents, you're not going to care. So like even just a dollar right here, that's where we would be insane insane gains that's like a, a nice little 6x to you know that would be 85 cents nice and then a dollar would be like a little bit higher like right here would be one dollar essentially pretty crazy so yeah looking very very good but i think personally though this is where we're going we're going up here for the bull run we're looking at minimum two dollars and fifty cents I say two to five dollars. That's my price range. And look how ginormous that makes it, the chart look right here. That's just insane. So you're putting in a hundred thousand dollars in the cast right now. You're a shark. Just think about how much money you could have in the bull run if it just goes up there. Okay. And a lot of people think this. It's gonna go even higher. It's gonna go to four dollars. Insane. So some people think ten. Ten would be just a lot of people do say ten. A lot of caspians say ten. So it's just insane. Like you start getting really, you know, like even like 10,000 cash, but at this point, if it goes to $10, like you're, you're making a nice bag. Insane. Yeah. Cast is looking good guys. 100%. Um, oh, wow. I didn't think that we were going to get the, this many people watching live right now. So, um, yeah, definitely drop, drop any, comments you have in the chat right now uh if you want me to go check out something i'll go check it out while we're here it's gonna be good um yeah a lot of people are gonna be moving states going to a tax-friendly state in 2025 i'm thinking of doing something like that um yeah definitely something that i want to do so bitcoin's coming in at 69,400 right now right back at 70k beautiful we went down to 64, right back at 70. So looking very, very good. Solana is coming back up at 181. And where's Caspa in the charts right now? Cas is coming in at 41st on the planet. It's going to keep going up. 
there's no way that OKB, Maker, Hedera, Dogwood Pat are going to keep Caspa down. Caspa's going straight to the top 10, guys, especially if Caspa gets smart contracts this cycle. It's extremely, extremely bullish. So, yeah, definitely stack Cas. Get Buy some Cas. I say it all the time on X, guys. If you're not following me on X, definitely go do so. You don't want to miss uh, some of these some of these tweets. I'm a Caspian. Uh, see this right here? Casp is about to skyrocket. Already since this tweet, we're above 14 cents right now. So we're looking very, very good. 14.8. Nice. And then we actually went up to 14.6 today. Insane. Almost 15 cents. So you're running out of time. I don't want to create FOMO, but definitely go check it out. Also, Check me out on Coin Market Cap. I'm uh, always posting on Cast right there. I'm telling it, telling the world, the other communities, how bullish this is. Um, and yeah, guys, uh, let's see if there's any uh, chats right here. Let's go on the trading view chart real quick. Let's go one minute. Nice. We'll see if these candles print. Actually, we'll do this. We'll do we'll do half an hour. It's a little bit little bit less. <laughs> do this. Yeah, so Caspa is looking really good right now. It's starting to really go up. So April 2nd over here. Oh, man, we've we've really done uh quite a bit. Quite a bit of space. So off of this wick to where we are right now, we're already up 16%. That's nice. That's good. Uh, yep, just showed it there. Scottish crypto. You think Cass will pump before having or after? Um, I think we're pumping right now. So <laughs> we're pumping a little bit before the having. I, I've noticed this. Caspa does what Caspa wants. It does not care what else. Uh, what other things in the market are doing, right? Of course, it's good if, if Bitcoin is bullish, right? It's it's good, but it's not like Caspa really obeys the rules. Caspa does what Caspa wants to do. We actually pumped all the way to 22% up since five days ago, and then now we're back right here. So if you're selling Caspa now, I don't, I just don't know what to tell you. It just doesn't make any sense. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. Nice. We got some dolphins up in here. Chris is a shark. Beautiful. Good to see you, wild horse. Crypto Ricky. Caspa is the only crypto without tier one sitting at 42 number on the market cap. It's quite remarkable that Caspa is able to get all the way up to the top 50 on the planet as you know a layer one completely decentralized proof of work block DAG. And it's 42nd on the planet. But should we be surprised? No, because it's a, it's a revolutionary technology. Price prediction for GFI, Goldfinch, end of bull run. Could be, could be between uh, 50 and $110, in my opinion. Absolutely. Smash that like, guys. Um, yeah, let's go check out the hash rate again. Let's show everybody who's coming in right now. Boom, hash rate to price. Up into the right. Very, very, very bullish. And obviously, the hash rate keeps going up. Boom, we're at 207 right now. Looking very good. $3.2 billion market cap, 42nd in the world, 54 million of 24 hour volume. Beautiful. And the nodes are all around the planet, including my house. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah. Looking, looking very good, guys. Emission schedule. Let's go check this one out. Guys, this is just insane. So <laughs> the reward was, was 440 casts right now, and now it's you're looking at 110 casts. Insane. Scottish crypto. 5 a.m. Can't sleep, but can't complain. Bags are pumping. Let's go. 
let's go. I'm happy that the crypto portfolio is looking good. Texas crypto. Caspa is at 40 cents. When Casper's at 40 cents, we will get all the tier one's attention. I think it's going to be before that, that we'll get tier one exchange listings. I really do. Won't be too, too long. Expectation 2025 for Cas. Man, it could be like, you know, two to five dollars, but also you could also see Cas run to hundreds of billions of dollars of market cap and go to $10. It's very, very simple. It could, it could easily do that. My buying order is at nine cent cast, not yet fulfilled. Please request BTC to bring down cast before my orders. Just ask the other cast beans watching this to sell. <laughs> then you'll, you'll get your cast for price, but uh, I'm pretty sure they're not going to do it. Moel, 100,000. Yeah, 100,000. You know, it's, you know, it's 14 grand, but I see it as, you know, over, over, $150,000 what I just did, right? You have to look at, okay, you're putting money in now, you're gonna take it out later. So, good to see you, Steven. Doing a late night uh, arc right on, yeah, absolutely. Doing a little bit of a late night stream. You know, beginning of the stream I was doing, uh, I was just showing uh, Shy talking. Crypto Jack, uh, Crypto Zach bullish on Ondo. I like Ondo too, I think Ondo is a good cryptocurrency, I really do. Smash the like, more likes, more people finding about a cast and pumping our bags. Do it for the bags. I know, I know. I, people, it really does help the community grow. And at the same time, if I'm talking about the crypto that you're investing in, dude, that's even better because more people are going to get eyes on Caspa. They're going to see what it is. Rita, cast to $10. Nice. Okay. Moonwell, thoughts. It's dipping right now. Moonwell is having a nice little pullback right now. So, Looking pretty good for a, another little DCA opportunity with Moonwell. Looking very good. This is a bullish, bullish, bullish chart. Pangolin and LCX. Yep, they're they're both pretty good. Ashton, Moonwell will do quite well. Yep, it, it, I think so. Goldfinch and LCX, thoughts? They're both good. Cast on what platform? Cast, you can go get Caspa. So if you're in the States, Uphold is the easiest one to go get Caspa in. If you're not in the States, um, you can go on all of these, basically, all of these exchanges. I know that Canada, some some provinces, they don't allow for some of these, like Mexi, but there's a, there's a bunch of ways that you can go get Caspa. It's not that difficult. Punch, jump, kick, coin spot on and OZ, uh, where do you buy Casp and hold it? I hold all my Caspa and all my crypto on one key. That's where I hold it. Cast better multipliers than ETH. I, yeah, 100%. 100%. You're looking at Ethereum at like a $500 billion market cap versus Caspa at three. You know, like that's 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 significant. Okay, maybe not five hundred. What's the Ethereum at? It's at, uh, I think it's at four thirty. Is it at four thirty right now? Four hundred, four hundred six billion dollar market cap, not million. Uh, Andy on ETH. Yeah, it's doing pretty good. If I could afford another coin, will it be Caspa or ABT. Why not both? Just go get both. Artblock's another good one. I really do think Artblock is uh, pretty solid. I didn't get in on our block, but this is a good one though. You know, this could easily go to 50 to a hundred dollars, 186 million supply. This is easy to go to 50 bucks. You put in 10 grand looking pretty good. Where to buy all those exchanges on, uh, on coin market cap. I'm holding bags on arrow PNG, GFI, LCX, credit. Nice render fetch and but can't buy cast, but oh, that sucks. Use a VPN and go to uh, Mexi. Use use like the Belgium VPN or the Switzerland VPN. Cast already has three billion dollar market cap. Yeah, one hundred percent, and it can go to forty to one hundred and ten. I think this cycle pretty easily. 
I'm in New York, bro. Both. Uh, okay, yeah. Caspa Ghost. I know you said you never uh, go all in on one on crypto, man. But I'm happy to drop 100k into Caspa and let it sit for 12 to 15 months. I'm not sure at the bare minimum if we see one dollar in 2025 Q1, Q2. Yeah, if that's your plan, man. Listen, you don't have to follow what other people say online. Always make your own plan, all right, and back it up with the research. And when you have conviction in something, trust your gut. Um, unless you're just a horrible investor, but you know, if you've really do, done your due diligence and you really think that, okay, 12 to 15 months is enough for cash, but to mature, but not crash, then yeah, take, take, uh, take some out at that time, right? Dollar cost average as well, not financial advice, but that's the best way to take profits is not to just do it all at once, but you, you do it, you know, over time, gradually when Bitcoin is at massive heights, all right. And the rest of the market, Solana is a huge, you know, like Cardano, they're all big. They all are at new all-time highs. Look at where Casper is in the market and see how much you want to sell and how much you want to keep, you know, sitting on. But this happens every single cycle is that people don't sell enough. I see this happen a lot. People hodl back down. They, they could have sold a little bit more, you know, but they also have a long-term mindset on things like, oh, what about next cycle? But the reality is in cryptocurrency, it just crashes. It dips. People all liquidate at the same time. You know, there's always fear that comes in the market. There's always another black swan event. You know, there's always things that, like that that happen. So, you know, four-year cycles probably still still playing out because why? There's always a halving every four years for BTC. It never changes. And things really like that supply shock just really hits every single time. Clap show. Casper taking forever to list on the big exchanges. It is. It, I, I truly, you know, agree with you, man. It, it really is. Um, I actually just caught the last five minutes, so I didn't hear anything about that. Brad said, opinions on well competition, seamless. Uh, yeah, seamless is another good one, man. It, it really is seamless. Ticker is seam. Yeah. You have 100 million seamless. It's on base. It's another good project. And the chart's bullish, you know. Like, it's a year old, and it's starting to go back up again. So I'd say maybe grab yourself a little bit. It's a six hundred million dollar market cap, real like realistically, it's not actually ninety. If everything was in circulation, six hundred, so it's pretty big. You know, Moonwell is I think half the size at the moment. So it's six hundred over there, and then fully diluted market cap for Moonwell. Let me just go check out Coin Gecko real quick. Yeah, well, coming in at a. Um, 200 million TVL, uh, not TVL, <laughs> FTV. TVL will be obviously total value locked. Um, yeah, so both of them are pretty good protocols on base. I'm very, very, very hyper bullish on it for sure. Base is, is growing every single day, guys. As I made that video earlier on Aerodrome, man, it just keeps growing. The only thing with Aero though is Uniswap is catching it. So you're seeing Uniswap on the seven day uh, up 46% on the month 209. It's higher than those two numbers up there for Arrow. So we'll see if Aerodrome can can sustain this, but Uniswap's coming up, right? So I think Uniswap's a really good token to go get as well. But here you go, Moonwell, boom, right there. And then you have Seamless. So Seamless has 14 million. Moonwell has 47 million TVL. So I still think that it's very impressive that Moonwell has you know, such a small market cap for all this TVL on one chain. So I'd rather still have Moonwell and it's a smaller market cap. Caspa. All right, let's go back to Cas. One key. Yep. Yeah, all my cryptos on one key right now. Caspa ghost, like even at Caspa at $10 billion market cap and I've made 200 K it's very easy multiples here to make over the next 12 months. I agree. I, I think you're in good shape. You know, you have minimum, I'm not sure how much Casper you have, but you've already made 200K. So yeah, dude, you're you're gonna be a millionaire uh, just with that one play. It's gonna 5X easily. Thoughts on Corgi? Corgi is a decent meme coin, it's okay. I'm in New York, bought Tangent Wallet, but what's the best way to swap? Coinbase, USDC, Polygon, AVAX. I really wanna buy. You know, listen, like you can go get uh, USDC. It's very, really, really simple. Swap it for Cas. Buy cast on uphold or don't please, uh, so I so I can. Yeah. Do you know if Base Chain will release its own coin? Good question. It's not going to release its own coin because Brian Armstrong and Coinbase 
um, they don't want to deal with the headache of the SEC because, you know, you, you see the SEC is going after Ethereum's uh, foundation right now and you're seeing it go after so many projects that Coinbase doesn't want that headache. They could drop a token next cycle when there's more of a regulatory framework coming into play. There's still so much up in the air right now that, you know, they don't want to deal with that, especially after the fight that they've been through already with the SEC. So not this cycle. But you're going to see airdrops blast and other things come to play. Crypto Zach, what's your thoughts on Jasby? It's got a really diehard community behind it, but I'm not going to invest in it myself. Um, I'm just not really into charts like that rug, like 99%. It's just, it's, it's down 98.43% now, but I just don't like this. I, I stick away from projects that do this. It's just too much. But they do have a diehard community behind it. I'm not invested in it. I traded away Jasmine two days ago to get more cash, but probably a good move. Not financial advice. JR, dope sweatshirt. Yeah, man. It's actually backwards because my uh, camera is reversed. But because um, for my live streams, I put myself on this side so I can be with the chat. Good to see you, JR. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday, brother. Happy birthday. I remember it's your birthday today, so. Hope that you had a fantastic Saturday. Caspa Ghost, question though. Say we don't get any tier one exchange listings for Caspa and Bitcoin is at 150K and you start seeing ETH and Solana flying high. What will you do with Cas? We hold, uh, we, we hold for tier ones? Um, probably not, probably not. So really, really good question. For me, I'm going to take it one month at a time with Caspa and see if I want to de-risk myself because I have so much of my portfolio in it that maybe I might want to de-risk myself if we don't see a tier one in the next 90 days, you know, um, because I I truly think that, you know, crypto, it's not about being a maximalist in any single coin. It's really just about changing your life financially, doing the things that you want to do in life. And all these things are all vehicles to grow your wealth, but you can only really grow your wealth if you sell. And you need it to be at a high price for you to sell and make money. So for me, having 47% of my bag in cash, I'm probably going to give it uh, a few more months until I start de-risking myself. But, you know, I think that right now I'm still just looking to accumulate. If, if cash dips another time, you know, I'm probably going to maybe buy a little bit more. But then that'll be it, though, for me. Because like, listen, like if you didn't, if you, if you weren't a maxi, okay, like me, I'm not a maxi in anything, you know, you could have made a huge killing with Aerodrome, right? We got this at like 30 cents. It went to like a dollar 90. Then if you wanted to, like you could rotate these profits back into Caspa, but this is all going on while Caspa is kind of consolidating, right? So there's so much different games to play in crypto that it's worth it to, to not put all of your attention into one project, right? But to look at like all the other narratives as well. This is obviously decentralized finance narrative, but you have real world assets, you have layer ones, you have artificial intelligence. So it's really important to look around, right? It's like you're at a buffet. You don't want to just eat one thing. Why did you go to the buffet then? Shoe shoe the dupe. Shuba dupe. Wow, what a name. Uh not financial advice. Yeah, absolutely not. Nothing none of this is financial advice. I don't have a crystal ball. Caspa ghost, a dollar fifty USD. Cas is like two dollars twenty Australian cas, which puts me at nearly one million before paying taxes. Beautiful. I mean, yeah, you know, like I'm not sure. I think I think Australia is pretty expensive right now, so you might need more, right? People think that they can retire with one million flat. I'm not saying you think you can retire, but a lot of people have this idea of one million. Really, like aim to make two because then you can pay your taxes and then you 100% have a mill. Any idea why there's hundreds of 69 cents sells on arrow chart? <laughs> You're doing a great job, Ark. Uh, made me a lot of money this year. Thank you so much. Hey man, dude, that means a lot. Thank you for saying that. That's why I'm on the internet trying to help people, you know, create financial freedom, do the things that they want to do. Um, listen, I don't know why there's a bunch of 69 cent cells on Aero, but um, looking pretty weird. Let me let me go check Dex tools right here real quick. Dex tools. Let me 
me go check this out. Yeah, you're right, man. Look at this. So 69 cents, 69. This is really, really weird. It looks like maybe base is getting bot attacked at the moment, just like Solana was the last couple of days. Um, that's what I would say. That it's, it's very possible that that's what's happening right now. Yeah, that's weird, man. Dude, this looks like a, a bot attack right now. What the heck is going on? Yeah, there's something weird going on with Aerodrome. I'm not sure what's going on, but nothing to worry about in my opinion. Thoughts on low liquidity on Brett. A friend told me it's a scam. You know, listen, I don't have any Brett in my portfolio, but it's the largest one on base chain right now. Um, are you referring to low liquidity as in Brett, not base, Brett? Uh, wow, seven hundred thirteen million dollar market cap. No, that's normal liquidity, man. Um, you know, seven hundred thirty one, uh, thirty seven million market cap for eight million dollars of liquidity. Very, very normal. For example, um, look at Whiff Dog with Hat. So Dog with Hat, uh, three point six five billion market cap, twenty three million dollars of liquidity. So it looks looks like it adds up. You know, it's pretty much the same. Um, the same ratio, pretty much. Yeah, they're all like that, you know, like it's always pretty lopsided. Do you like second Metados? Yeah, I think it's good. I really do think it's a good project. Um, you know, how high can it go? I'm not sure. Like it's a really small market cap, but it looks like a really good Metaverse project. Yeah, it's, uh, I believe, no, it's not this. This is not the right one. Let me go over here. Yeah, let me go back over here. Let's go second instead. Yeah, looking good. This is not the right one. Give me the right one. Here we go. How is this not the right one? Yeah, okay, I guess they changed their website. Did they just change their website? That's weird. Maybe it's an old website. <clears throat> Yeah, this is the website that I was looking at. So yeah, it looks like a really good metaverse, honestly. Looks really good. Hey, Ark, Cass is 50% of my portfolio, ETH 16%. I'm thinking of just liquidating my ETH bag and going all in on Cass at this point. Higher risk, but higher reward. You know, you don't have to go all in on one on one coin either. Like you can you can have exposure, you can have diversification in other coins. You don't have to be a maximalist. I know like you would have more, but you know, it's good to also have some other coins, some other plays. Uh, what's your thoughts on Bohm book of meme for a little DGen play cheeky one K on Bohm <laughs> cheeky. Nice. Um, you know, listen, Bo Bohm is a really big market cap right now. Could it do an easy two X probably, you know, $1.4 billion market cap. It's looking pretty good. And look at how stable this chart has been. You know, that's that's support right there. So yeah, I mean, like this looks like a really easy 2X in the short term, but how long is it gonna take for it to 2X? I can't tell you, I don't know. There's no catalyst for it. It's already got tier ones, um, you know. I play Toshi on base. Yeah, Toshi is a good play. I like Toshi a lot as well. Two forty million dollar market cap at the moment. You got two forty six million FTV. It's not got the tier ones, not even really tier twos. It's missing a lot of exchanges. So this is a lot of potential to pump if they. Man, this looks really good right now. Really, really good. Solid. 
you had this one dip right here, but that's that's basically it. This is really good. Yeah, and and yeah, I, I have been looking at maybe getting a position in it. Thoughts on Basinji, uh, the leading dog on base? No, I don't. Alexander. What about Brown Solana? Yeah, Brett's looking good. Um, we're on Solana. I haven't checked it. $3 million market cap. When will cast pump? Probably pretty soon. Laffer, it's probably going to be in the next two, three weeks, I, I think. Nice. Uh, but yeah, guys, I'm going to wrap it up right there. Smash the like on today's stream. Uh, also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You don't want to miss the next one. Um, and yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Archetype out. Peace.